don't think it's natural to want to die. When you're just in so much pain that you don't see a way out, you, you just want done with this life. That's depression. You wouldn't think if you knew me that I was bipolar because my, the cycles aren't that extreme. Therese looks great right now. She physically looks good, but right now she's in a place where she kind of breaks down at night and when the lights go off and everybody goes away, she's, she's very upset. How could anyone possibly understand the battlefield that's inside your mind? And so you, you just sort of fake it till you can make it. It's, it's hard bringing a lot of joy into the house with little children when, um, when mom is not doing well at all. The stress and anxiety of dealing with little people has exacerbated the situation. Being aware uh, that the stress level is increasing in the fall is, is extremely important, and it's only going to get worse heading into the holidays. It seems like when I go to pumpkin patches, that's the sort of beginning of the holiday season. And during Thanksgiving, I always like to remind depressives that it's okay if they don't feel grateful. I know that that statement sounds very anti-American and um, very pessimistic, but I think that depressives really appreciate it because when you're in a depressive cycle, you can't be grateful. You know, I've got the easy part. Teresa's is the one that struggles every day. And, you know, I'm committing to being her husband and she's committed to being my wife. And you have to get through it. You don't have a choice. You know, you can, you can choose to go forward in life or you can choose to, to throw your hands up. And you just have to stay focused on the positive aspects of the blessings that you have in life. I think Christmas is like a sunny day in that on a sunny day, there's more pressure to be happy. It's a beautiful season, yes. It has great, um, great message of joy and cheer, but it is another day. And it, you know, if you are combated with the thoughts and with the depression that it's not going to go away just because it's Christmas. So don't put the pressure on yourself to be happy. I know that I have to be extra vigil around the holidays and protect myself in a technique I, I call C, which is to sleep, sleep hygiene, eat good, and exercise. Sleep hygiene means going to bed at the same time each night and waking up at the same time in the morning. She works very hard at exercising. Uh, I think exercising is, is enormous in her personal management of the illness. The antidepressant effect of the exercise can really help guard me against the trigger of something during the holidays. If you take care of the disease, if you get help, if you get support, if you manage it, that you can live a very full and very rewarding life. For a person who is just experiencing depression, I would say guard yourself as much as you can. Get as much support as you can and be as kind to yourself as you can. Treat yourself like a friend. Talk to yourself like a friend. I think that you really need to do that, especially during the holidays when your chemistry is not gonna be as gentle to you as you need it to be. And sometimes when I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed by the battlefield, I'll just sort of stay away from the artificial situations and get back to my closer friends who really get what's going on in my psyche. Mm -hmm.